And we turn now to the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Bob Corker. He joins us from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Let me go first to this uh, resolution the president has asked to give him the uh, war fighting uh, capability to take on ISIS. Uh, do you think Congress is going to be able, the Senate's going to be able to come together on this thing, Senator, or is it going to wind up uh, being undone? I mean, it seems to me like that would be the worst possible thing that could happen as far as what our our adversaries, the people who are against us, think about the United States. Well, I agree, Bob. I, I think we should act, not just debate. And we're going to begin a robust set of hearings uh, as soon as we get back. They're already being set up. And look, a 60-vote uh, Senate no doubt makes uh, things very difficult to happen. You just talked about the homeland security issue. But it's, it's our goal to have a process that, number one, determines the, the threat to our homeland. Number two, and this will be expansively looked at, is what is the president's strategy, especially in Syria? I think there's a lot of skepticism about the administration's commitment to dealing with ISIS or Daesh or ISIL or whatever you want to call them, and that's, uh, that creates a lot of concern. So we're going to have the opportunity to, to look at that, to, to look at what's happening in Iraq, and then hopefully shortly thereafter, create language that can, in fact, uh, pass muster in both houses of Congress. Are you, at this point, feeling that the United States and the West may be losing this fight with ISIS? Their numbers keep expanding. We hear about them, you know, uh, opening affiliates uh, in other countries. This does not seem to be uh, something that's going well, from my point of view. Well, look, it, it is metastasizing. You know, the focus right now, Bob, as you know, is on Iraq and Syria, and yet they're in multiple other countries. Just this weekend, uh, this is maybe a little bit of a stretch, but the leader of Nigeria tried to establish a relationship uh, between ISIS and Boko Haram there. And so we have the incident uh, that you just referred to earlier in Copenhagen. Not only are these groups able to hold territory like they're doing in Syria and Iraq, but they're also able to enlist people in countries where they aren't to take on uh, terrorist activities like we're seeing. So this threat is very different, and that's why it is important for us to fully, fully understand the threat, understand how we're going to go forward, and I think very important because this is going to be going on for numbers of years. I think it is important for Congress to get behind an authorization, one that they feel is prudent. And obviously, the president sent something over. That's a beginning point. It's now a legislative vehicle. We'll decide how, how it should go forth. But this is something that's going to take a long commitment by all of those in the free world to, to undermine what ISIS is doing.